Uh, are you serious? No. Okay. Do you hate us? Like, I just I do one sign, please. Is Jenny really quickly, please? It's always the same story. We can wait for mantra. Thank you. All right, everyone. Jenny from Blackpink and that whole scene in Paris. Yeah, this one is definitely more than just a uh, meet and greet gone wrong. Right. We're talking about those expectations, those boundaries, or maybe the lack of them. Exactly. Let's set the scene. Paris Fashion Week. Jenny's leaving a Chanel event spring, summer 2025, if you want to be precise about it. Fancy. Oh, totally. But as she's leaving, trying to get from a store to her car, she gets absolutely swarmed by fans. Swarmed is putting it lightly from the videos I saw. And it is this incident, caught on multiple phones, by the way, that really sparked this whole conversation about fandom. Because, well, it got kind of intense. Intense is one word for it. So the videos show fans just mobbing Jenny, demanding photos, and even calling her names. Like straight up, are you serious, bitch? Do you hate us? Yeah, it was. A lot. And it really highlights the pressure that comes with this level of fame. I mean, imagine being Jenny in that moment. You're supposed to be this untouchable icon, but you're also a human being who's probably exhausted from being on all day. Totally. And this is where things get kind of ironic, right? Because despite looking completely drained and even saying that she had to be somewhere, Jenny still stopped to sign autographs, take selfies. She even interacted with fans one on one. See, moments like that are why it's so complicated. Mm -hmm. Because you can tell she's trying to be gracious to connect with those who admire her, but there's this underlying current of expectation. Like mm -hmm. she owes them something just because they showed up. It wasn't just the incident itself, but the reaction to it on TikTok, on X, everywhere. Fans were outraged, calling out those in the videos for being disrespectful, entitled the works. Absolutely. One comment I saw that really stuck with me was like, what kind of behavior is that? Let Jenny rest. These fans have zero respect. I think that sums up a lot of the sentiment I was seeing. Yeah, that really gets to the heart of it, doesn't it? Because this wasn't just a case of a few overzealous fans. This sparked a larger conversation about how we treat celebrities, especially in the age of social media. Absolutely. And it makes you wonder, where does admiration end and entitlement begin? Yeah. Because we've got to remember, this is Jenny. This is someone who, in her own words, prioritizes her fans above almost everything. Right. She's been pretty vocal about that. Oh, totally. Like, she's literally said, I don't want to lose their trust. It's so important for me to have my culture and everyone around the world love me. That's a lot of pressure, you know? Absolutely. And it's also important to remember that this wasn't the only fan interaction Jenny had in Paris. Leading up to the Chanel show, there were reports of her greeting fans, giving out pre-signed posters, even promoting her new single, calling all pretty girls. Have you heard it? It's fantastic. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. Oh, you have to. But anyway, the uh, point is, it wasn't all negative. Jenny clearly cares about her fans and puts a lot of effort into making them feel seen and appreciated. Absolutely. And it's not just about Jenny or even just K-pop. It's a conversation we need to be having across all fandoms about how we treat the artists, the creators, the figures we admire. 100%. Because at the end of the day, they're human beings too. They are. And as fans, we have a responsibility to recognize that, to respect their boundaries, and to remember that their art, their talent, it's a gift. It's not something they owe us no matter how much we love and support them. Absolutely. It's about finding that balance. 